set on an apple. So I desperately need a haircut. My hair is getting very long. It feels really gross. The ends feel extremely dead. So I'm going to get a haircut to fix this. I don't want to get too much cut off. It's pretty long right now. Usually I have it actually to here, but um, I just feel like a new haircut will be a nice refresher for the winter season. Um, I only want to get a trim, so we'll see how this goes. My cousin's and aunt just drove by. I'm home for the holidays. I haven't driven a car in so long. <laughs> I would just like to say that it has been freezing this week for Thanksgiving. The high was like 20 degrees. I didn't want to leave the house. Yesterday we went for a nice little hike. It was a little bit warmer. Today it's finally like livable weather. I want to say it's probably in the 40s with the sun out. I'm not prepared for this winter even though I do have my gorgeous uh, faux Christmas Grinch tree sweater on. Oh, a Tesla. So I'm here. I'm 20 minutes early. So now I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I kind of have to pee. I should have done that before I left. I've always wondered what I would look like if I got all my hair cut off. But I once got like eight inches of my hair cut off and looked awful. And I've always been afraid to do it ever since then. So welcome to my first like vlog. That's like literally me doing nothing. My parents have been yelling at me that my videos need to be shorter and that I'm really bad at editing, so. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. You can't be perfect at something immediately. You have to try first. That's what makes you get better at something. So don't give up on things just because someone says you're not good at it because you might be really new at it and there's always room to improve from there. All right, what do you guys think? I got a cut. I got an inch and a half cut off of it. It feels so much better, which is really the only purpose of me going. Um, it was super quick. So I think this uh, worked out. Do you guys like it? Let me know. Should I have gotten shorter? The uh, hairdresser commented on how cozy my coat looked. It's very kind of her. It is the world's coziest coat. It's probably the best thing I've ever bought. <laughs> All right, let's go home. There's still so much snow here, oh my god. There's a giant pile of snow next to me in this parking lot right now. It snowed like crazy in New York last week and it's not even worse here. Are there any thrift stores here? I am really, I need to find new clothes, but I'm also really into this art clothing trend that's evolving for the spring apparently I read. Um, I want like everything artists made, like all these like Matisse print fake people I'm obsessed. I want all of their things. All of the jumpsuits, all of the shoes, all of the the shirts, the sweaters. They look so freaking cute. I want to make my own. I'm really trying to figure out how to do that. I want to make my own clothing that I can just have for myself. New haircut, new me. So there's this one museum here that I always love going to. They always have crazy sculpture done. I wonder if they have anything up right now. They have nothing. That's so boring. They once had this like Metelli sculpture. He like does these bronze works. It's like Greek-esque looking statues mixed with like modern day things. So like a watermelon. It was like, it looked like it was real watermelon but it was all bronze sculpture. And it was just this Greek statue covered in watermelons. It was really cool looking. And then another time they had this crazy artist. I don't remember what her name was, but she like put rats in all of the trees and then covered the trees in tar. It was the weirdest thing ever. Contemporary sculpture can be so weird, but also really cool. Tara Donovan is still hands down my favorite artist of all time. I will never forget the first time that I saw her toothpicks piece. It's literally a giant like hay bale size of toothpicks all put together with nothing but like energy holding them together or something. It was wild. I saw it at the Wadsworth Athenaeum when I interned there in college and I was obsessed with it. Hello sir.
with you. All right, I'm home, which means I have to go back to spending time with my family. So thanks for coming with me to get my hair cut. Um, hopefully more content is coming. This week is hard for me because my mother doesn't leave my side. She's like a leech that I love. She literally won't let me do things by myself when I'm home. <laughs> She's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? But uh, I love her dearly. Also, mind you, I literally had to spread the crap in the back out because she keeps her car so messy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I really appreciate any of you who made it this far in the video. Like, we're so grateful for you guys. You're the real MVPs. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye.